Hello everyone. I want to talk to you today about three different topics. One of them is ULTY and the new strategy Yield Max will be using for that. I want to talk about the number one rule of investing that many people either don't know or just forget about totally. And then for me and me only, is it better to buy before X date, on X date, or after? Mike, the tactical stock scalper. All right, all right. So let's start here. The number one rule of investing is capital preservation. I have my notes here, so I may look down from time to time. Is capital preservation. If you don't have money or you're continually losing money investing and trading, you're going to have less money to make money. Look, investing isn't about making money. And I know that sounds really odd, really weird, but you can't make money if you don't have money, right? So your number one goal should be capital preservation. And that kind of leads me into a little bit about margin talk. Like I don't personally use margin and I don't care if anyone does or doesn't that's up to you and your risk tolerance i just have way too much to lose right i'm trying to retire really soon and and i would rather make less money than lose more right and and you have no idea what the market can do what event is going to be out there what could happen to make the market drop substantially for a period of time anything could happen right so for me and me only, preserving my capital is my number one goal. And people say, well, why are you in yield max? Because it's freaking working. <laughs> That's why. That Because pretty much everything, I'm up on it. Even with the market corrections and up and downs and all of that. That's why capital preservation should be, I think, everyone's number one goal. Because like I said before, it takes money to make money. And if you're losing money continually, it's harder to make it. Okay? So there. There's my number one goal of investing in trading. And I think it should be at least be in your top two or three goals as you invest in trade. Keep your capital, my friends. Quit losing it, selling for losses, etc., etc. Okay. Next. U-L-T-Y. Look, when it first, first came out, I mean, before it even came out, I was so excited, right? That they, I th mistakenly thought that Yield Max was going to be doing cover calls on the most volatile top 20 or 30 stocks, right? Obviously, I was completely wrong on that, and they just went for the highest IV, regardless of the underlying. And now we can see what happened with that right if you're constantly going after iv after craft companies your nav is going to deteriorate and the dividends will not compensate for that now there's something to be said for ulty as far as return on investment goes right it, you can make your return on investment on it pretty freaking quick but you're still losing share price while that's happening that did not fit my risk profile for my retirement account. However, Yieldmax has changed their perspectives on ULTY. And I got my notes here. They're going to do a put. Now they have the ability anyway to do a put or call credit spread to help stabilize the NAV. Now, what does that mean for dividends? I, I don't know. We're going to have to see how that plays out. But... If their dividends are a little less, right, and they can maintain their share price, to me, that might be something I will be getting into in the future. So I'm going to have to watch ULTY, see if their new strategy, or if they even use their new strategy, and see how it affects the dividends and share price. Now ULTY is back on my radar to watch 
Um, by the way, I got a membership group. It's only $4 a month. Currently, we're 3 and 0 in our swing trades. If you want to make money or the possibility to make money, depending on how swing trades go, join the membership group. And uh, we I put my swing trades in. And sometimes we go in as a group right now, 3 and 0, and I'm sure everyone is extremely happy with that. So, okay, now let's talk about buying on X date or after X date. And there's a couple schools of thought here I want to discuss with you. For me, I typically buy before X date. Why do I do that? Well, as we've seen, besides a correction we went through here recently, over the past year, most of the funds, most of them that I've gotten into rise after X date or stay stable. So for me, that's great because I can buy before X date get the additional dividends, right? And accumulate more shares knowing, because what's been happening for the last year and a half is that the fund will go up, right? So with that being said, for me, it makes sense right now until we get in a bear, massive bear trend to buy before X date, because I know it's gonna go up anyway, or at least, at a minimum stay sideways so that's been a great strategy for me to use now when i get the dividends i will buy some after x date and then i hold the cash and wait for a dip and if a dip doesn't occur it'll occur somewhere whether it's an individual etf or the stock market or whatever it's very rare I haven't been able to buy over the course of a month. There have been times it's happened. Then I'll just go in right again, right before X date, buy some, wait for the next X date for the dividend drop, and then buy some more. So I think it depends on what you want. Like if you buy after X date, obviously, you're not going to get the dividends until the next month. And I kind of hate chasing that as I'm trying to snowball and build my account as we, as my wife and I, steamroll to retirement. So, so far for me, buying before X date has been the way to go. Now, I think it's important to be fluid and to understand market conditions. When market conditions start to go bearish and we go through a prolonged bear cycle, then that may change to strictly buying only on X date and then holding the rest of the cash as the market drops and drops and drops. Now, when we had that big dip and we had that corrective measure, it worked out great holding cash and then buying at levels on the chart as the market was dropping. It worked out wonderful because the market started going back up like it is now and pretty much everything is very close to my share price, not including all the dividends I made. Guys, I'm, I, I know there's a lot of people not liking yield max for one reason or another, but all I can speak on is for me, it's, it's been wonderful for me. And if that changes, I will surely let you know. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper, out.